Today we're going to make a big boat, a medium boat, and a small boat for our seascape art project. I'm getting ideas about how to make boats from our practice worksheet that we did last time. So I see that sailboats have some basic shapes. Triangle would be a good shape for the sail, and a semicircle would be a good shape for the boat part. There's also a really skinny rectangle that sticks up that holds the sail to the boat. So I'm getting some brown paper and some white paper today, and I'm going to draw a large, medium, and small boat all on this paper. I'm going to start with the brown paper first. So I'm going to start with my big boat. I want my big boat to take up almost half the page. There's the semicircle. A really skinny rectangle. I don't need to do the triangles because those are going to be white. Now I'm going to do a medium sized boat. This triangle is not going to be quite as tall since it's just medium size. And then I left just enough room to do my small boat. If all three of your boats don't fit on your paper, then you might need to erase. Now after I have them so that they all fit, I'm going to very carefully cut them out. I'm going to start with my big boat first. So I'm just cutting right on the line. Try hard not to cut off your skinny rectangle. But if you do, you could always glue it back on to the semicircle. No problem at all. Now, after you have the brown part of your boat cut out, I like to use it to help me make the sails the right size. So once again, I'm going to lay my boat on the white paper and then I'm going to draw my sails. I usually do a big triangle and kind of a medium triangle for each sailboat. Since I put my brown boat there, I knew exactly how big the sails needed to be. Now I can just cut these out. glue all my pieces together. Your boats don't have to look like my boats. If you want to do a different style of boat, that is totally fine. If you want to do different looking sails, that's okay. The only thing that's important is that you have one that's large, one that's medium, and one that's small. Now that I have all of my pieces cut out, I'm going to add just a tiny dot of glue to the edge of my triangle so that I can glue it to the boat. Just like this. Sometimes I like to add extra details from the scrap box. Like this boat's going to have a bright orange flag right on top. just like that. I have my big boat all finished and next I would need to do my medium boat and my small boat. Now I have one of each size. Now I'm going to have to really remember my practice page so that I put the correct boat in the foreground, middle ground, and background. So before I do any more gluing, I'm going to lay my pieces out. Notice that if you put all of your boats at the same height on your paper, it's not going to look like one of the boats are far away and one is close. It's just going to look like this boat is bigger than these. But if you start to move your boats to the different heights, like we did on this paper, then you're going to create your foreground, middle ground, background. So things that are on the foreground are always very low on the page. So this boat 
needs to be scooched down lower. Things that are in the middle ground are scooched up a little bit more. So this boat, instead of going down here, is going to be scooched up. And the little boat gets scooched up even more. It's almost up at the very top of the water. By scooching it all the way up here, it's going to look like it's very far away. Now, when you have your boats at their three different heights, foreground, middle ground, and background, you can glue them down with some tiny glue dots. I'm just doing one boat at a time. That way I can get this one right back where it belongs. And you might have to hold it on for a few seconds. After you've glued on all three of your boats, then your seascape is complete.